Welcome back to Democracy TV. We have a new guest here. Uh, Madam, can you introduce yourself and where you're from? No one ever calls me Madam, but thanks. Mesia, vile uku injemu itwa. Menotis. For those who don't know me, um, Sharon Lisa from Futabanta. Yeah. Hi, yes. Now, um, we're going to continue with a um, very interesting topic. I'm going to start with you. Mourinho at uh, Spurs. Mourinho at United. <laughs> That's your answer. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to do. How to do. I, don't, I don't even have a follow up. There's something about bringing in someone new in the middle of a season. And when you base it on that, Mourinho is the wrong person to bring in in the middle of a season. If I was to predict how long he will stay, to be honest, when I came 2020. I'd like to agree because uh, if you look at the way Tottenham they've been performing, uh, Jacob performed Vizuri. Plus, uh, results are new, it begs to ask the question that what are we going to sabotage Pochettino? Because if you look at the previous result, not be convincing as such, but Munya may at the helm and all of a sudden they look like a re rejuvenated side. And uh, you know, this is a coach that um to a mission in Champions League. I'm in the EPL. So, I'm to pedigree. I'm going to EPL Vizuri. I can just give you an example. Like, for example, Sisi Kamasu Fapaka. Like, we had a coach, a Portuguese coach, Alves. Alves. And uh, unfortunately, in the four games that we played, I took my phone for Though you used to play well. So, Chisaka Masen by the Tiki Taka, Tiki Taka, Tiki Taka. Tiki Taka, Tiki Taka. But at the end of the match, the results were wanting. So, we were to machine, we were to so immediately coach Akaenda to Kapatiwa, coach new, actually not even coach new, Baraza, John Baraza. He's actually he's been with us. Or like, yeah, he was the assistant coach. Baraza and Patuavi game, uh, Wednesday, weekend, to Mepigamutu. Next game, to Mepigamutu. So I think it's all about maybe bringing in a new coach and having a different mentality. Because now, but I made the mentality of Poche, Ilifika Mali, like, I think they, they just need a new change of environment. I think an example I can give maybe is Lukaku. Lukaku at Manchester, Akwa Yule Lukaku, Namjua, Akiwa Ivato. You know what I mean? I'm actually a low budget Lukaku, yani. <laughs> but with a better fast touch. <laughs> Let me ask a question. Yeah. Based on your argument, eh? um, Mourinho, see, Kawaida. Uh, I a 3 nil up, I love a Fungo Bombili Derek. When on a camera, Mourinho, I can hear effects. I'm a bad Mourinho and Spurs are match made in heaven. <laughs> I tell you, he has the perfect squad to play a Mourinho game. <laughs> okay, uh, statements in a Kujapata, I don't even know how to respond. One joy, what do you think, Mourinho or Spurs? No, I think he had two days to set up his team. And, uh, it's not enough time to say that he can stamp his authority on the, on the team. But the fact that he's considered two, Ngozo would own next game in Yakatesa. Ngozo would own the next the, the one thing, the one credit I can give Mourinho is that he's proactive. If he sees a problem, he will act on it. Ata Ngozo aka gudebe ni na hapa. Check his act to me happen. Ata Ngozo aka gudebe. Nikuli Zeswali. Ukona Chelsea kwa shilda. What's up with that? Ah, uh, manze yo, so I won the trivia. Nili answers wali easy sana. But nika, nika feel ata ile easier. But timba crazy wa meni wa itazi. Biambili. So mini kwa form. Fresh? Aya, uh, um, loops. Una each. <laughs> tell me about, tell me about Mourinho. Honestly, yeah. Ask me some most of the things I wanted to say, but... If Mourinho finishes above Unai and Ole. You don't have to say Unai, just talk about Ole, please. <laughs> All I'm saying is if he does, ask will of, of the job. Because that guy was below them at King Gear. You get? So if Mourinho Akimazambele Aki like at a job. Yeah. <laughs> no no they're not. Oh yeah. They're at 17. Oh, yeah. they're true, they're true. Yeah. But I just want to state the facts right. 
Well, it's first of all, at least that you could just take a can, but. <laughs> it's all right. Hiya. Let's go into Champions League football. In Akuja next week, eh? Kuna game kubwa kubwa kuna Real PSG. Ndaka quick predictions. Nanza na elu. Ah, who's home? Madrid at home. Madrid home pick up form. I don't think it's gonna be easy, an easy game for PSG. So I'm seeing like a 3-2 for Madrid. In favor of Madrid? Um, sir? Uh, it is one of those games where I'm not sure how it would go because, of course, both teams equal poor, both teams equal form. Um, so I'll go with a safe option of a draw of 1-1. One, one. I think it will be a very, a very tough game. I don't see more than two goals in that game. Okay. Uh, Verona, in a, a, top of, a top of Group A clash and uh, PSG in a lead group, Group A. And uh, if you can get around PSG, I think we're winning four games out of four. And Madrid may lose, I think, uh, I'm lose Moja. They've lost the first two games. So, me on a for me, Madrid is easy. You can compare na PSG. I think PSG have the, have the, have the upper hand. So, me, I'll, I'll give it to PSG maybe. 2 1. Madrid at home, are they banner? Definitely, 2 1. Derek. <laughs> I think this is a game Zidane has found out for the fraud is. I, I got 3 nil to PSG. 3 nil. Thank you. An emphatic win. Thank you. An emphatic win. <laughs> Rugs. Rugs. Also, no. Also, Tobia. It's a home advantage is one thing you can't overlook. And that will be. Because special PSG your team is any better. So, in terms of coaches, Wako, Wako, Atupa, players, it's the difference, yeah. But home advantage, I think 2-1, Madrid. 2-1 Madrid. I, um, there's another big game. We have you for Atletico. I'm going to start with the lady. First of all, yeah, I'm going to start with the lady. First of all, it's so nice to have a lady in the panel. Uh, <laughs> and the football team deal. But I could have deals on my sign. And uh, <laughs> listen, what do you think? Oh. <laughs> uh, no, uh, this is a partnership just to retaliate. And uh, we appreciate that everybody who is here. But to move on, Juve, Atletico. Um, I would say 2 1 Juve. Come on, connect to about Atletico Madrid. Show sure, bet Nianda. <laughs> Under 2.5. In a quarter, come on, show sure, bet. The exception is when you're playing Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh. So, 2 1 in favor? Juve. In favor of Juve. Lubs? Honestly, Atletico are not scoring enough goals. Games are only in one year. I don't see them scoring more than two goals in this game. Because Juve have a better defense than most La Liga teams. So, um, uh, Madrid 3-1. Uh, Eric? As he has said, Madrid I know, Atletico I know, Nini, the Madrid, they in no form at all. Who's going to score the goals? Felix? Felix is underperforming already. Yeah, he's forming. Prediction. My prediction is 2 0. 2 0. You bet. Works. Again, Cristiano Ronaldo. Again, home advantage. Uh, I have 3 1. 3 1. 3 1 Juve. 3 1 Juve. Um, Ronnie? With the Juve's current form, I think, and uh, the quality and depth in the, that Juve team, I think I'll give it to Juve 2 1. Juve 2 1. Um, I'm gonna go for a draw. <laughs> Valencia Chelsea, Valencia Chelsea. That's another rugs. That's another Triton. Yeah? I think the table Valencia Chelsea and Ajax. Is it Ajax? Yeah. All on seven points. Yeah. So it's a tight one. Yeah? And uh, he came in as a distraction, Chelsea. When I was a Kwakian Kalyo game was out of Man City, so we'll see it in a few minutes. But Valencia at home is 
Spanish teams in the Champions League. So, uh, one one. One one, eh? Derek. One, one. I, I, I love Lampard, what he's doing. I really respect him as a player, as a coach. But I think he's losing two games in three, four days. Uh, with a big margin, both of them. So you're for Valencia? Yeah, for Valencia. The first day. Uh, Valencia lost a lot of chances. They wasted a lot of chances. Lose. Lampard is going to win that game. Why? Give him a 3 2. Who said I'll score Valencia? Uh, I, yeah. Tami Abraham or Akam. Pulisic is on form. The defense isn't there yet. But I hope contractors are like as good as we can. Defense in Ashida. We're gonna survive for three to win. Chelsea to win it. <laughs> Lisa, the camera disagree. I do. I me kumbuka mi mi mingi na pe akante. Um. To kumbusha, to kumbusha, to kumbusha process to check. Uh, if you guys have seen it, let me me akante kwa yura ino. Anyway, um. I want Chelsea to win. The only way Chelsea are able to win the game against Valencia ni wakichapwa leo. That is the only way. Because if they win, it may actually make them overconfident. Na seti Valencia ni team dogo. You can even tell by how they're doing so far in the group stages, you know. Um, so, chapwa game gumu. Obviously, I want EPL. So, I want Chelsea to win against Valencia. And it's unfortunate by me number one chapel leo. I think I think chances of them performing better in UC, in UCL might be a bit higher than EPL. So we have to consider Sai Penye took off a season at Jafika Bado December. Morina Mingya Tottenham. In as much as Chelsea is playing well and Lampard is a good coach, you have to factor in that Tottenham say work on a bit of a winning advantage. Of course, our competitor seka CC, Maniama Arsenal, see a two cosai. No, to be sh- for sure. You know, I think it's January. Ole. So, you know, Arsenal. No, Arsenal, Laja. I'm a man, you fan. What I'm saying is. Eh, but as a Jamalis, I'm going to say, my Ole Piata love the Keshua game, Katakua. As, okay, to make game after game, Matsume Monday, for example. So, EPL, not really. I think they should focus on UCL, but the only way, ni Wachapo Leo. So, um, before we continue, I'm about to sign off. See you on episode four. These people, you're going to see a lot of them. I love their opinions. <laughs> I don't agree with so many of them. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to hand over to Lisa, and I'm going to sign off. So, Debo Crazy, stay tuned, subscribe. Futabanta, stay tuned, subscri- subscribe. Ronaldo Koth, Arrow Management, Sports Management. Watch out for that. Out.